Hey guys, welcome to Hawaii for the world debut of this. Yep, it's the brand new Toyota Tacoma. And here comes Andre. And in this video, Andre, we're gonna do something really cool. Yeah, we're gonna show you not one, not two, not three, but four unique trim levels because the Tacoma is back, or actually didn't go anywhere, but this new generation is back in a big way uh, with eight different trim levels, all new chassis, new powertrains, and just mind-boggling. Yeah, so in this video, guys, we're really gonna go deep and we're gonna show you some really cool stuff because there is some really cool stuff to show. So we're gonna show you first this sport version, then we're gonna go show you the City Slicker Limited, then we're gonna move on to the TRD Pro, Andre. Yep. And then we're gonna finish, yes, you've waited for it and you're gonna get it, the Trail Hunter. But let's start with the basics, Andre. What are the basics? Yeah, the basics is the chassis, okay. right? It's a TNGAF. Uh, frame it's fully boxed frame so they replaced that uh, let's come out this way because i want to show you the profile of this truck um, it's of course related to the tundra and the sequoia because they're kind of consolidating a lot of the uh, chassis components across their truck lineup uh, they actually kept the front axle where it was they moved the rear axle line back about four and a half inches so they stretched the wheelbase and they so that gives you a better departure angle than before on basically most of these. It gives you a really good approach angle, but of course the brake over suffers, right? And the, you lose about maybe three degrees of brake over. All right, so before we get to the different powertrains, because there are really different powertrains, <laughs> yeah. let's talk about the stuff that all of you guys have complained about. And first and foremost, how about back here? What kind of brakes do we got, Andre? Disc brakes. Now, every new Tacoma gets disc brakes. There are actually three different packages depending on the powertrain and trim level. Uh, sometimes brakes grow in size, the higher in the trim level you go. So that's really cool. Bigger is better. Listen, if you've been injured in an accident, consider going big. With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. They have 100 offices nationwide and over 800 local lawyers to take care of your case. Bigger is more convenient. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. In eight clicks or less on your phone, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. Now that's convenient. Bigger is easier. If you're in an accident, make sure you're okay. Make sure you get a police report. Make sure you contact your insurance company and make sure you get legal representation. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. Eight clicks or less and done. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash TFL or dial pound law. That's pound 529. And then the other thing that of course everybody knows about the Tacoma is uh, the seating position. So in the past, the biggest complaint that people have said against this truck is that you sit, like you said, with your, with yeah. your look at my shoes here, with yeah. your feet straight out in front of you and with your head hitting the ceiling. So have they addressed that and have they fixed it? They have, and we'll show you in a second. But Roman, what was some of our um, complaints about the Tundra? No recovery points. They solved it here. Nice. So they have recovery points hidden. By the way, this sport model, so it's more street focused. Yes. So that's why it has this big air dam and it has aerodynamic devices, access for tow hooks, all that stuff. And there's one more thing that, of course, Nathan likes to point out, and that is the hood scoop and non functional. It's back, but non functional again. <laughs> <laughs> but can I show you uh, the way I sit? Yeah, I'll show you. You're 6'3", yeah. right? So Almost. If anybody has not enough headroom, that would be you. So, oh, I love this interior. Look at this blue, Andre. That is sexy, my man. Yeah, it's fully redesigned. Oh, so. oh, oh, look, look what I found. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's a manual. manual. Yeah, there are two uh, options. There's a six-speed manual. Eight-speed auto. automatic. So if you like your trucks, <laughs> If you, you like to roll your own, you can do it, yeah. You can do it. So how do you fit? How's your headroom? You got a sunroof here too. Dude, it's, it's much better. Yeah. I can't believe this. So they raised the seat height about 1.2 inches from where it was before. Then they raised the ceiling another approximately 1.2 inches. So the whole cab has grown by about 2.4, 2.5 inches. But they still shape, and I, th I think you agree with me, uh, the overall look of this truck is still Tacoma. Yes. So, so they didn't lose it. You don't have to be an expert yoga practitioner now <laughs> to fit in the truck. And let me show you something else. I am, I am zooming in next to the wheel there, Andre. Why don't you put your fingers on that brake controller? Can you believe that? Yes, um, I cannot believe this. Now the taco has a brake controller. But you know what? It's hidden behind the steering wheel. 
so it's great. Um, if I'm used to it, I can quickly uh, grab my trailer brakes in an emergency. Hey, Mr. Truck, who's right-handed, would be happy. Yeah. Uh, so if you're left, you may not be so happy. Mr. Truck uh, doesn't like brake controllers on the left. And then, of course, you have right there, you have your uh, drive mode selector. Yes. So we have uh, two high, four high, and four low, which is wonderful. Uh, and uh, what are the drive modes? Uh, drive modes in this one they are eco, normal, and sport. And then push button start, so no more keys. Yeah, let me start this. But once again, uh, we're showing you pre-production vehicles. Yes. They're not on sale yet. These won't come on sale until basically the end of the year. So yeah. if you're looking to get a taco before then, you're probably going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, but yeah. just really quickly, just let's cycle eco, normal, sport. Different, of course, screens, different graphics, big giant 14-inch screen from the Tundra. Uh, new interior and new options. You want to pop the hood and show them what's under there? Yeah. All right, let's let's talk about there's four powertrains. There are four powers. Well, there's levels. Yeah, four power levels. There's basically a 2.4 liter turbo that comes either as a hybrid or non-hybrid. And I believe this is the non-hybrid. Yes. So first of all, let's name all the trim levels as we're talking about this. Yep. First is the SR. SR has been their basic trim. Um, and I'll uh, just pop this up. Um, that basic trim has a 2.4 liter turbo with 228 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque and the choice between the manual and auto. So that power is pretty low but it's once again it's their value truck, it's their entry point and it also comes with a short cab, a two-door. They call it extra cab. Then you step up to this. This is a eight-speed auto they call it the core engine, which means it's probably going to be one of the more popular choices. 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque uh, with an automatic and with a manual 270 horsepower and 310 torques. Who has 270 horsepower? Which other mid-sized truck, Roman, has a turbocharged engine and has 270? Well, so there's the Colorado, Andre. No. There's the Ranger. Ranger. All right. I, I had a... 50-50 chance, because I know the Frontier doesn't have that. <laughs> no, Frontier has a V6, <laughs> and the Jeep Gladiator has a V6, and the Honda has a V6. But uh, they went four cylinders, uh, turbocharging all the time, and we'll show you a hybrid powertrain in the next truck. All right, well, we're going to do this a little fun. We're going to snap our fingers, and we're going to go to the very next truck, which, well, just uh, hang out for a second as Andre closes the hood. Yep. And we'll snap your fingers. Well, you saw the Sport. A little bit more basic and now this is the fanciest new Tacoma. Yes Andre this is the limited shall we call it the city slicker version of the Tacoma because it's got two really unusual things uh, that we'll go into in a second. I'm not talking about the chrome wheels. I am of course talking about one of them which is right here. It says iForce. So this is the plug-in hybrid. No it's not the plug-in hybrid it's just a hybrid. I've got plug-in hybrid on my brain iForce Max. Yeah, yeah, that's what the Max is, which stands for maximum power. Yeah, so let's look under the hood and show them first uh, where uh, the engine lives, and then we'll show them where the battery lives. By the way, uh, the hood is now aluminum. So if you've been struggling lifting Tacoma hoods, well, you for know, whatever we, reason. We spoke with Sheldon, the chief engineer, yeah. uh, a while ago, and he showed us something pretty cool. There are two places where you could put this little post. People were complaining. Uh, that maybe these hoods are too heavy so if you don't want to go that high you just put it right there and if you do want to go higher you can put it right there yeah so there's now two positions uh, on the shtick so i'm um, looking at uh, the engine so what's the horsepower what's the transmission what's the uh, torque yes so the horsepower is 326 and which is not class leading technically because now of course there's a raptor ranger uh, that we have to worry about, but the torque is monstrous and mm. class leading 465 pound feet of it and the orange cables of course mean that's high voltage, right? Yeah, and there's something really cool. Let me show you where the uh, both 12 volt and the High output battery live and they're right there. Check that out. So there's your 12 volt and next to it is your hybrid battery. Yeah, and they went with nickel metal hydride, right? So this is not lithium chemistry. So why are they doing this? Well, it's the same battery as the Tundra, yep. right? 1.87 kilowatt hours of energy. And according to Toyota, you know, it's just a little bit more dependable, a little bit more durable. So what's the battery size in this? Uh, 1.87 kilowatt hours. So just under two. Yeah. Uh, which isn't a lot, but you know, it's very similar to the Tundra setup where you have a turbocharged engine, 
uh, mated to an eight speed, which is then mated to a uh, electric battery. Now people are wondering why didn't they go with a 10 speed? That's a good question, Andre. And uh, if you watch our video with the chief engineer, we can discuss that. It's a podcast. So yeah. check it out, alltfl.com once again. All right, so shall we uh, close up the hood and yeah. then uh, go inside and show them the second unique thing? Uh, because this one, is kind of playing with that definition of what's the difference between all-wheel drive and uh, four-wheel drive. There we go. Yes, but... Got it. All right, you got the HUD. I but did. Roman, I want to point out, and I've been thinking about this long and hard, is that I believe this is currently the only mid-size truck with a power-operated step. Hmm. Because the GMC Canyon doesn't have one. Yes. The Colorado doesn't have one. The Jeep, of course, doesn't have one, and the Ford Ranger doesn't have one. Yeah, uh, so so obviously, you know, these are, <laughs> these are no good when you're off-roading, unless you really want to leave them on the trail. <laughs> but if you're in a, shall we say, a city truck, then maybe they are good. Let me start it up and let's listen to the engine. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll uh, do a little bit of vroom vroom. How about that? Okay. Here we go. You want to hop in the passenger seat and we can show them the interior of this guy? Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah, come on in. I'm walking around. Now, uh, while Andre's walking around the truck, uh, this does have a lot of uh, tundra in it, especially these seats. As you guys know, if you've been following TFL truck, we had our own tundra and we had very similar seats, didn't we, Andre? Oh, you mean the design that yeah, kind of comes through? Exactly, yeah. Uh, and then if uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, foreshadowing here, if you guys want to keep watching this video, uh, the next truck, which is a TRD Pro, has some really unique seats. I mean, seats I've never seen before, which is saying a lot because we've sat our butts in a lot of different truck seats, haven't we, Andre? Yeah, before I sit down with you, I want to point out uh, yet another uh, treatment on the interior. So they're separating each trim level, and there's now eight trim levels. They're separating each one of them uh, quite, quite differently. Now, this also has uh, a brake controller here on the right, which is nice. And let's talk about towing. We haven't actually hit towing. So uh, what's the t max towing on a Tacoma? Yeah, it's 6,500 pounds yep. if you get the non-hybrid version. Um, some of them also has 6,000 pound tow ratings. So they did something interesting, Roman. They did not go for class leading numbers on towing. But the payload they increased. Yeah, so max so. payload is over 1,700. Uh, yeah. So as you guys, I'm sure know, uh, payload and towing are very uh, dependent on like how much weight the truck has on it. How many and, options? And how many options? So yeah. the more options, the more things like those uh, retractable uh, side steps. The more weight you add, the less payload you have, basically. So this would be the one you probably wouldn't want to go overlanding in. No, but uh, it's a very luxurious truck, like we talked about. But you alluded to this, right? And what is this? There's no two high. Yeah, isn't that strange? So there's uh, four high, uh, four, four high F, four high L, and f four high L. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> Say that again. No, so full time. Full time. Right. Uh, okay, so. So let, let me just cut to the chase. So what this one does is it has a diff center differential, which is very unique. Uh, so basically what you can do is you can put it in uh, four-wheel drive and it won't crab. Yeah, so it's kind of all-wheel drivey. Yeah. Let's say. It's more like a car and that's like a truck. Oh, don't say that. People don't like talking about. Well, this one. <laughs> this one, <laughs> okay. not all of them. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Other, the others have standard. Look, like I said, it's, it's a controversy that, that we're not going to solve in this video between what really is uh, four-wheel drive and uh, all-wheel drive mm -hmm. with you know a majority of it being marketing right right <laughs> right it is. but but this one does actually have a rear a real uh, middle differential uh, that allows slippage so that you don't get uh, crabbing when you've got it in uh, all-wheel drive or and it's also USA. similar to the um, forerunner system, exactly right uh, that's what Sheldon was also telling us but also of course ventilated seats heated seats uh, even heated side mirrors Right. And I like the feeling of these switches. What do you think? What do you think about the switch gear? I love these switches. I think they're really uh, uh, tactile. I love things that actually like click or do stuff as opposed to stuff that, you know, just is virtual and you can't feel it. We also have Toyota's latest safety system here. So yeah. uh, every Tacoma, no matter whether it's the, you know, the, the base or if you get up to the 
top of the line TRD Pro or Trail Hunter, it gets the same safety equipment. I love that. I don't think you should be paying for safety. I think that's something that I give a lot of applause to for Toyota. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I want to uh, point out something else outside. All right, let's go outside. Can we go out? Yeah, let's, let's definitely go outside. Powering it down. By the way, all these are pre-production trucks. Yeah, so uh, if, there's, if there's some glitches or little mistakes, don't don't get too... And also, if some trim is uh, smooth and not it doesn't have texture, so, it usually means that's a pre-production. Let me show you this. This is kind of cool. You hit this little button, and uh, voila, look at that. Yes. Or, unlike the Tundra, you can hit this little button. Both sides. <laughs> and it'll close. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Or, you can hit this little button, and it'll open again. I think we're going to kill the battery, Andre. But, check this out. Put your finger in there. Yeah, no, I'm just no, kidding. There, there is a little safety there's, sensor. There's pinch protector yeah, sensor but, but, right there. But I can use my knee. Watch this, Andre. Look at that. If I have my arms full of, well, this is a city slicker one, so let's say... Louis it's a, Vuitton? It's a beautiful saute for your, <laughs> for your, for your living room. Yeah. Uh, then you don't have to, you know, uh, drop it to actually get in the inside. Is that this is interesting. Oh, yeah, look at that. A little like that. step here. Yeah. But this truck is not too tall. They increased the bed space, uh, like we already discussed um, in the previous truck. Um, and this is composite material, but you know, it can be slick. Yeah. This material, you don't need to bed line it if, it if you don't want it to be slick or put a rubber mat. But I also wanted to show this, Roman, a unique suspension design because they're calling, uh, they're using something they introduced on the Tundra mm -hmm. called um, AVS, Adaptive uh, Variable Suspension. So this has a fancy suspension system as well. Well, and you can also get leaf springs, or <laughs> that's also confusing, right? Uh, on some of the models, you can get leaves, yeah. not, not this one. Uh, and then here, we're looking at aluminum uh, to lighten up the truck, so uh, that's pretty cool too. And then over here, let me, let me show you something that's also really cool. Hold on. I'm going to use a step here now. I'm, Are you going to climb in? Yeah, I'm going to climb in. I'm getting old and, and not as agile as you are, Andre. Uh, but check this out. Uh, here you have lights that light up and cameras, dual cameras, so you can see what's inside your bed. How cool is that? Yeah, for the mirror, for yeah. the bed. You know, they. I think they saw what GM was doing with their cameras because yeah. they have a lot of views. And I think they're introducing a lot of views in this truck. And of course, we can show that to you as well as we move on to some of the other Tacomas in the lineup. Yeah, hopefully I'm not exceeding the payload. <laughs> no, I don't think you did. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to the next one, Andre. Are you ready? Yep. Hey, Andre, this one's white. It must be the new TRD Pro. So let's check this one out. Yes, it's also taller, it's wider, and it's macho. So this is the latest 2024 Tacoma TRD Pro shown in this white color, as you said. But there's huge differences, even visually, right? Because in the front, of course, you have unique grill, uh, of course, lights, but yes. most importantly, it's the off-road bits, Roman. All right, so does it have the big TRD front? Oh, yes, it does. Look at that. The so skid it's got, plate. It's got a gigantic skid plate right there. And also enough cooling. You can see these inlets here? Yes. Enough cooling to provide the engine, of course, additional cooling. And this is a hybrid. So, uh, as well, they call it iForce Max. This combines the turbocharged power that you can also, of course, get in the limited edition uh, in this off-road ready package. So let's look at what makes it off-road. So obviously it's got the TRD center cap, but I think the shock absorbers, yes, look at that. TRD as well, branded. Yeah, so the, the A-arms are unique. They've been doing this even in the current generation uh, TRD pros or TRD trucks. And this is using uh, Fox shocks. So actually suspension systems are wildly different across the uh, all of the Tacoma ranges. You could see the, the red shock here as well. And once again, we've got now disc brakes. Disc brakes, and, of course. And check it out, Andre. You've got a dual exhaust. Should we start it up? Let's yeah, it. yeah. We, we should we should do that. And then we can talk about other bits because tires, rear locker, and the rest. Okay, start it up. And I'll just use my mic here to get the sound. Go for it. Let's okay. see what this sounds like. A dual exhaust. How cool is that? Oh yeah. I love that. That's good, Andre. It's hard to believe that's from a four-cylinder, huh? Yeah, it's a four, same engine, 2.4 liters, but it's got well, additional lights as well. Yeah, and then what is up with the 
three shark fins. How come three shark fins? Actually, a lot of you have been asking this because they've been teasing this truck a lot. Yeah. And now, of course, this is the world debut. Uh, of course, you have a standard uh, shark fin in the middle. Yep. And then there's also a triangulation system for the rear trailer camera system. So this truck is an off-road ready truck, but it's little tow trailers. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. You, you just kind of glance over that. So basically what you can do is you can have Oh, Wi-Fi wireless wireless rear trailer camera. cameras. So you can put a camera on the trailer. Yes. And then because of those, you can actually see what is happening in or around the rear trailer. Yes, um, exactly. And uh, we'll show you the camera system inside as well. And then this is cool. Obviously, red uh, tow hooks. And Steel what, bumper. What is this for? Uh, so this is an integrated high lift jack point. So you can actually put, you can actually see there's little arrows here and they want it to be as safe as possible and as integrated as possible. ARB? Um, so ARB bumpers, ARB tow hooks. Uh, so they're working with companies like ARB to provide you with more functionality. All right, let's jump inside and let's show them the cameras. Yeah, so I'll go on the passenger side, you go right. on the driver's make side. And we'll make show sure the you point it to the screen. So look at the interior. Holy cow. TRD Pro badging here. Obviously, red stitching. We'll talk about these seats in a second because they're unusual. Yeah, very unusual seats. Here's what I wanted to show you. All right, show me the cameras. So, first of all, the center console is a little bit different. The guy's waiting for us, so we have to hurry up. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Because everybody wants to see this truck. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, here's the here's the camera. Yep. Oh, cool guy. Uh, well, you've seen this before, but yeah. I, I think you haven't really seen this. Let me put it in reverse. Uh, brand new camera views. Look at this, dude. I can see my. I'm moving my steering wheel. I can change. Yeah, I mean, some luxury cars have had this before, yep. but but now it's like uh, we uh, you know we have it in the truck. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> I don't mind. And then of course, here you've got your different uh, um, different selections for your off-road modes, right? Yes. So you've got two high, four high, four low. Uh, you've got trailer. Uh, Backup assist. This. You've got rear locker and get this, a sway bar disconnect. Yes. Now the taco, taco has disconnecting front sway bar, even though the front suspension is independent, uh, but there's no front locker. No, no, front locker. but we could show the seats because they call them, they have a really fancy name for the seats, but uh, there is another model of the seat up there. All right, well, let's go show them the seats. And then uh, obviously um, for all you TRD uh, Pro fans, um, this is going to be the one that, uh, you know, you're going to want. This is going to be the one that's going to create the most buzz. Yeah, and uh, some of the other information, nine and a half inch ground clearance, 11 inches of running ground clearance. It depends on how you measure it. 33 inch tall tires, Fox shocks. Um, and of course, 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque with an eight speed. Well, let's show them the seat because yeah. this is so unusual and so uh, different. This is something I've never seen before. So this is uh, the TRD Pro seat as we saw it inside the uh, truck, but there's something very special about it. Yeah, it has a built-in shock system. Yeah, let's show them that. <laughs> so it takes a bit of space, right? Yeah. But, uh, so here would be basically Schrader valves. So you can kind of adjust the kind of air over uh, fluid um, all right, then, uh, let, settings. <laughs> all right, so what you can do is you can take a little pump, right? Yes. And you can fill these up and you can see the little gauges here and there, right? So you can you can pump them up manually. And then depending to, if to you To make want, it a little stiffer. Yeah, depending if you want it road-worthy or off-road worthy, you turn these little valves and then over here it's got shocks that basically provide you with stabilization so it's almost like a gimbal in yes, a way exactly. for, for a person uh, there is horizontal and also vertical and I guess there is a pivot in the front uh, built into the seat and I actually asked the engineer uh, Sheldon Brown chief engineer for the Tacoma uh, why not just a simple suspension seat, right? Yeah. Because you can just put the yeah, like, piece like of cloth. truckers have, yeah. Yeah, a piece of cloth here, and just you're going to be balancing in it. But but this has to pass all the certification. It has to mount in the same place as the other seats. So here, hold the camera. Would yes. You? So l let me explain what the what, what these are supposed to do. So you think they get angry if I jumped up there? Uh, yeah, I think Connor is looking at you right now. All right. <laughs> imagine, well, so guys, imagine I'm sitting in the seat, right? Yeah. Come over here, Andre. Yeah. All right, I'm off-roading, right? So normally, normally you're off-roading, you're driving along, right? And what happens is you're doing a lot of this, right? Your head is bobbing left and right. Uh, and these seats, because they're like a gimbal, like Andre said, 
will keep you from doing this and doing that weird head sway for both you and the passenger, right? Right. So that it's a much more comfortable off-road experience. Personally, I can't wait to try it because that's the one thing I really hate about off-roading, which is, you know, the fact that uh, if you're driving, you have something to hold on to, but if you're passengering, it can be quite, uh, well, bomba inducing at points. So hopefully these guys uh, will change that. And, you know, the proof is in the pudding, so I can't wait to try them. Yeah, and of course they're adjustable. So that's what Sheldon was trying to also explain is that they mount to the same mounts as any other seat would be. They're still comfortable and they're still adjustable. All right, now uh, should I snap my fingers so we go to the next truck? Let's go. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. And this is the one probably all of you guys have been waiting for this entire video. Here comes the Trail Hunter. And now my friends, the moment you've been waiting for. Yep, it's the Trail Hunter Tacoma. Uh, the one that is brand new and in my opinion at least, it's the one that is the coolest. Now, you might be wondering what's the difference between the Trail Hunter and the TRD Pro, and we're gonna do a video specifically focusing on that. So I would suggest going over to all TFL to check out that video. But since we're here, let's do a walk around of the new Trail Hunter. Andre, I'll take the camera. You are the truck master, so I will film, and why don't you point out what makes this so unique? Yeah, so first they introduced this name, the Trail Hunter in SEMA last year. And now this is a production-based, Tacoma execution of it and I couldn't be more excited for several reasons. Let's take a profile view Because this is of course a crew cab that they call double cab, but it's also a long bed So it's already a, a unique configuration You can have the new trail hunter both with a six foot bed and also a five foot bed But then they just go to town Roman So let's start with the suspension and the tires and the wheels of course unique design everybody loves unique design right yeah well bronze is like happening right now so it's really cool what size are these so this is still 265 70 r18 uh, basically a 33 inch tall tire so even on the trail hunter which in my mind at least on price right is the top range of the tacoma we still have a 33 but i don't know if you can tell here uh, well unique control arms once again and then Old Man Emu, our friend Old Man. Yeah, let me show it in the rear suspension. Yeah, let's walk around. Well, this one you're not going to be able to do it. No, let's walk around this way. Keep going. I, I also so, noticed that you've got uh, rock rails. Rock sliders. Yep, exactly. Uh, they say half the vehicle's weight can be actually on the rock slider. Oh, that's so cool. And then over here is something unique, too. What's couple, this? couple yeah. unique things. Yeah. So let me open the tailgate. And by the way, it's powered as well. Oh, the truck, I think, is low on, on power because yeah. it, it's been... Uh, there's so many journalists going through this. Uh, Built-in air compressor, dude. How cool is that? Currently, the Rivian truck has an air compressor. Yeah, so you can set your PS, uh, PSI. Yeah. And uh, obviously, then you can air down or air up, which is Yeah, cool. and you can set, like, the level of the tires, you know, so you can go. Each tire will be the same. And look at this list side. This is really cool. We've asked for this because this is a hybrid. 2400 watts of power so 2.4 kilowatt of energy export which is also pretty amazing uh, pretty much the same bumper as the pro right with the tow hook and recovery points for the high lift jack but then let's look at the shocks so in the aftermarket world for overlanding this name carries a lot of prestige yeah right? Omen emu we actually when we did our uh land cruiser we used Omen right. emu suspension on it because it, uh, you know, well, let's face it, uh, Colorado has gone uh, very American, right? Uh, with American Expedition vehicles. Yeah, with AEV, and yeah. Toyota has gone very Australian with both ARB and Old Man Emu. Yeah, totally. Well, because that's what, you know, a lot of you Tacoma fans, uh, you guys and gals, you know, you love this stuff. So Toyota's providing it from the factory. By the way, so the sports rack here with Molly panels, rock sliders also there are lots of skid plates yeah, let, me, let me see if i can get underneath there maybe i can show it this, this lots is, of skid plates look yeah. at this oh yeah well, completely uh, also the differential turn over to the rear axle there's a skid plate over there as well so this reminds me almost like a bison zr2 colorado right with lots of protection on the back but this has also a longer bed so if you want to bring more stuff with you you can do it also roof rail rack uh roof mountain rack and toyota's doing this thing they call it, first of all, there's genuine accessories and then associated accessories, which means you can combine ERB, Yakima accessories and other stuff and put it in the same pavement. Payment. I also wanted to show this. So this is uh, air intake. Yep. 
some people may call it desert air intake. Or here in Hawaii, Hawaiian air yes. intake. Yes, actually has a little Trail Hunter logo as well. There's a lot of cute little like Easter eggs yeah. that are hidden. There's also another one we'll show you in a second. Take a uh, look. On the front headlight. But let's show them the interior. You but want... the, yeah, but I like how low profile this is, right? Yeah. So you want to open this up? I will, you go around the outside yeah. and uh, I'll show them from the passenger side uh, and you can show them on the interior. So one of the things I immediately notice, of course, is the Trail Hunter badging on the door, on the uh, floor mats, uh, nothing on the steering wheel like you see on the TRD Pro. That's interesting. But the theme is new. It's new and nothing up here either. Right, but but look at this. This looks really nice piping. I mean, ooh, a safe? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me jump in. <laughs> so these seats are fairly comfy. So there's bolstering. So you would expect this to be really hard, but it's not. It's not hard. And it's... look, you've got, you've got, I believe this is leather, right? So you've got French stitching there. Uh, and of course, you've got your uh, um, locker in the rear. You've got your discount little sway bar. You want to start it up? Remember remember when I didn't used to fit in Tacomas? I know. And now I fit. Now you fit, yeah. This is amazing. No more key. Can, start can, button. Can we drive this away, do you think? Um, you know, uh, <laughs> I think they would not be happy. But you know, the one thing that both this one and the TRD has, which we haven't shown yet, yeah. is that speaker. You want to kind of talk about that speaker and show them what that thing does? Yeah. So. This is the new JBL Flex. So there's a button to release it. The speaker comes out. Um, and you, I think you commented on this news because the, they teased this before. And then you said, oh, I have it at home, right, already. I mean, it's just a Bluetooth speaker, right? Yep. What's the big deal? Well, it's actually part, when it's installed in the truck. It charges. It charges, but it's also part of the stereo system. Yeah. So it's a center, basically a center output for the stereo system. Or you, you could you could couple it with like Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Take or it outside. Phone, right, and then use it. You could use it outside of the truck or you could just take it to the beach. And uh, engineer Sheldon said you could uh, pair up to a hundred of these together. So when you, you and your friends and your tacos go out and play, you could pair yourself to the same music source but you want to here i'll give you the camera you want to show the different off-road modes yeah so, jump in yeah so let's show those uh, because it does have a plethora of different off-road modes and of course these buttons differ a little bit uh, trim by trim but this is very similar to what the pro had and this is your main control for the modes as well so let's look at the drive modes unavailable right now well these are pre-production trucks uh, but we do have, of course, the same four low, four high, and uh, two high. They don't have four-wheel automatic mode, hmm. uh, I've noticed. They don't in the Tundra, and they don't in uh, the new Tacoma as well. But this is the screen is basically from the Tundra. Yeah, yeah, this is very Tundra-like. Uh, and you have, I love this, you have a real big volume knob, which is... It's in know, the center. Yeah, it's in the center, which is great. And, of course, you know, dual climate control here. Here you have uh, USB-C, and they're pretty powerful. Those are 45, uh, 45 watts, so yeah. high high speed, and, and wireless then, charger. And then if you have, let's say, a Buzzbuster or something else, there's also uh, an outlet right there on the side, so you can power whatever is here, like a camera for us, so you don't have to, you know, drape it over here. And then the other nice thing is you get this little grab handle right there, and of course there's this grab handle right there as well. Yeah, I don't have any grab handles because this is my grab handle. Right. By the way, this, this steering wheel is heated and I can feel it right now. It's warming up. And in this one, you got both heated seats and uh, ventilated seats, Andre. And unique dash, of course, trim. Yeah, so this is this is the Overlandy one, right? This is the one that if you're going to go to the Overland Expo, this is the one that probably everybody's going to be like gawking but at. But, yeah, but also the suspension system and the way it's built with the protection and the skid plates, um, it's for crawling guys so if you uh, traverse terrain that's a little bit more rocky and difficult and slow this is probably your taco but if you want to run across the desert maybe the pro is your choice all right well let's uh, go outside here and show them one more cool little uh easter egg i'm walking on lava here so i'm just being very careful because falling on lava is no good it's no good at all so there's a little trail hunter right there which is pretty cool and over here you have a little bit of morris code right there uh with yeah, Toyota trucks. that's supposed to say badass trucks. Yeah. But it doesn't say it actually, it says it in Morse code. All right, so there you have it, guys. You're complete and 
I would say, comprehensive yes. Yes. video of four of the many new Tacomas. Now, we've got a lot more coverage. We are dedicating a lot of energy and bandwidth to the Toyota because, of course, uh, the Taco, because, of course, it's the most popular midsize truck in the States. Mm -hmm. They sell, what, a quarter million units a year, Andre? Al almost a quarter million. So head on over to All TFL, where we just did a very rainy, but a very interesting deep dive with the chief engineer. Yes, and also you're probably wondering, when can I buy one? How much does it cost? The pricing is not available yet. Fuel efficiency numbers are not available yet. But uh, the non-hybrid tacos, the new ones, are coming later this year. So 2023 calendar year at the end. And then the hybrid ones, the maxes, go out in the spring or early next year. All right, see you guys next time. Ciao.